Hello, welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry, and as you can see, I'm in quite a quite a statement car, none other than the Lamborghini Aventador. And today we're going to do something a little bit different because, to be perfectly honest, this car is really not a track car or anything like that. This is a car for dawdling around town in doing a bit of what I've been told is flexing, showing off a bit. And we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna go out, car spotter, spotting. Let's get on it, come on. Now the problem with car spotter spotting is you've got to go to parts of Melbourne, which are famous for having lots of exotic cars. And there is only one place in Melbourne where you see more hypercars, supercars, and exotic cars than anywhere else in quite possibly the Southern Hemisphere, and that's Richmond. But the problem is with Richmond is the roads are very bumpy, there are lots of speed bumps. They've got a local government which really don't like cars very much. So it's a perilous mission, but it's one we're going to do today, and we're gonna to see how many car spotters we can spot, and how many times we get photographed and put up on Facebook and Instagram and all that sort of stuff. So, let's go. First stop, Swan Street. Well, these construction blokes have got their cameras out. Oh, there, catch that. And I'll tell you what, we are up against it with this car spotting because it's a Friday and it's uh, only just on 11 a.m. I mean, that's why we call it the Friday Drive, because it's actually on a Friday, believe it or not. And so, you know, kids are still at school and all that sort of stuff. So we're really, we're really facing an uphill battle here. But when there's a will, there's a way. Driving around, it is immediately apparent how much attention the Aventador receives. There are very few cars which attract so much admiration. So what is it about the Aventador that makes it so popular and so desirable to car spotters and car enthusiasts? Is it the fact that it's a V12 and one of the last V12 production cars we'll ever see? Is it the fact that it's built by Audi and very well built and very high quality? Not really. The reason it's popular is because of the way it looks. Just have a look at it. It is just so menacing, so angry, so primal and aggressive. It just absolutely shouts for attention and it screams at you every time you walk past. Like I was saying, everything about this car is unbelievably menacing. From the sharp, shark-nosed front end to the black alloys, to the great big air vents, which I can pretty much fit in. Everything about this car is absolutely terrifying. But the interesting thing is, it's really not that terrifying to drive. So you can cruise around all day and just have people take photos of you if that's what you're into. So let's stop talking and get back out there and see if we can turn some more heads. I have to be honest, looking back, this wasn't going as well as I thought. We really ought to have filmed on a Saturday. And look at this bloke! We were six feet from him and he was looking anywhere and everywhere else. Plus, every time someone was looking, the camera crew were looking somewhere else. What are we doing? Time to up the act. Now for stop number two, Chapel Street. That bloke over there, he was looking hard, wasn't he? Oh, delivery driver, they love Lamborghinis, I hear. Look at him, he loved us. Didn't have his phone on him though, it's regrettable. Okay, intersection, they're always good. But not when you've got a giant bloody Ford Transit blocking your view. Is this bloke, give it a bit of a... No, no, what if we do that? No, no, that's not helping. Now, it's become abundantly clear that going out on a Friday is probably not the best time if you want to be spotted by a car spotter. But I think we're going to have to turn it up a notch. I think we're going to have to go past a few schools. Give it a bit of a rev. 
rep before. Surely they love the event store. Let's see. What? Have a look at them. I reckon we've been sitting here for about three or four minutes and they're school kids. They're all about eight or nine years old, I reckon. If I was eight or nine years old and I saw a Lamborghini, I'd be so fast up at that gate. I don't know what it is with kids these days. There's computer games, that's gotta be it. Too busy shooting people and, and I don't know any other video games. So shooting people. What are some other uh, video games, Logs? Can you tell me? Building stuff. Wait, seriously? What sort of stuff? Walls. Okay, all right. No wonder Trump's president then. But thankfully, after driving around for half a day, we found some people who fan boys slash gold over our event store. Hallelujah. But of course, this only happened when my mic was switched off. Anyway, that's enough time wasting for one day. Let's wrap this up. What an absolutely incredible car. So come down to Lawbeck Luxury Cars and buy today, and we'll see you next week for the next installment of the Friday Drive.